Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to Kumasau Reviews. This is TJ, and what we have is Mastermind Creations, their reformatted line Talon from their Feral Rex combiner figure. This is the fourth release out of a total of six. And one thing you guys will notice is in the intro, the graphic said to buy it from the Chosen Prime. They are a new site sponsor, so definitely check them out. Brandon, the owner, is a great guy, and I'm starting to see more and more why people are supporting the smaller companies and things like that, whether you see it in their signatures, they're talking about them, things like that. Sites like Chosen Prime, Toy, jo Toy Dojo and stuff. Fantastic, fantastic customer service. So glad to have them as a site sponsor. Glad to be working with them. Seems like an awesome dude. So, so, so far so good. They provided us with this and let's get going. But you're going to go ahead and see his robot mode now. Really big spread on the wings. Taking a measuring tape here. It's almost 16 inches. Just shy. It's like 15 and 3 fourths. Across. His height, say just over, well, just under seven inches if you count it to where his head's actually at, not the helmet, but yeah, right around seven inches. So just to do a quick figure comparison, Classics Optimus Prime. Make sure he can even stand up. So a bit taller than him. And here's Toy World's Orion. Now, just like the rest of their Phil Rex figures, I mean, I think this is the first one I've actually done a review for, but really sturdy plastic, good joints, double jointed in the elbows and stuff like that, great strong ratchet points and things, even with the swivel points and stuff. You don't feel any stress or things like that. And even when in areas where it doesn't look like it has um, posability, there are like the wrist swivels here and everything like that. So, really posable. Even options like the two turrets on his forearms, you can take those back if you don't want those sticking forward. And one thing that they threw in, this is more of a Dan Cougar head style, but if you wanted to resemble the G1 look, you can go ahead and just tilt that up right there. So, definitely not bad. But just zooming in here real quick. Make sure this guy's standing. Just so you guys can see some of the detail in here. On the box, they did have him with yellow eyes, so that would have been cool. But even the like more metallic shade of red as opposed to the opaque on his face, it is a nice offset may bleed through a bit on the camera, but that's what reds do. Definitely a area there for a symbol. And just a great sculpt. Definitely my favorite so far. Well, Leo Ducks might be, but this one's new, this one's fresh. And I really like the backpack and stuff like that. So looking at the backpack here, turning them around. You see he has his weapon storage too. And you could even keep the weapons on there in combined mode and stuff like that. But he does come with two swords, as well as a rifle. So unpacking the rifle, it gives you some options there. So you can keep that out. You can have it extended. But, when it's extended, it comes with an extra handle. So if you want to go ahead and... Have them hold it with both hands. You absolutely may. Okay. So now we will go ahead and transform him into his alt mode. Okay. Get those turrets back forward. Actually, remove the backpack for this. And I like how his tail feathers act as a nice skirt in robot mode, but just putting those fists in, you just have to make sure they're pretty perfectly straight. There's not a lot of playroom there, all right? Right here, these grooves, 
that's what you're looking to aim for to peg them in. He has coinciding pegs on his forearms to go in there. Okay, the face just flips up. Okay, there's that. So almost there to be honest with you. Okay, now these you don't have to do any crazy twisting like on Bovis and Fortis. As long as you've got it straight, the feet, they just fold right up and through. So, okay. Open that panel up. And then, right up and through. Okay. So, now if you don't want to put them on the backpack, like Bovis and Fortis, he does have these pieces which go like so. To holster the weapons or they wrap around the back and they just peg okay so and then we're just taking the legs with the flaps open bit them at the knee so that they twist through and boom okay now the feet I'm going a little bit too fast for myself here they're not pegged or anything like that you just bring them down they're normally the knees and then the fronts of the feet actually come through the back. Okay, do that on the front side. They're two separate. All right, so you flip them through the front, and then the back foot goes back too. Okay, bring that forward. And there's his alt mode. Okay, so now we just take the backpack. Peg it back on. And boom. There we go. And I like that it stands on its own and everything like that. Now the wings, before I forget, what's really cool about those, the feathers spread, or they can go all the way in if you want. Okay. There's a hinge here that lets them fold up and down. There's another hinge towards the where it meets the backpack. So lots of movement there. And you go in and out. So lots of playroom there. But there's no ankle tilt. So it's nice that these feet are separate because then you can have kind of one foot down, one foot down a little bit farther, back foot, and play with those to balance them out. So they are strong, strong uh, pivots here but still kind of a tricky balance with the big backpack and everything like that. Definitely not a light figure, very sturdy. And you can see here, it just looks good. It really does. Okay, and that's the alt mode. Now, before we get into what it looks like in combined mode, just taking a look at the box here. Standard packaging, really cool CGI art on the front. It does have the magnetized opening area to show off the figure. Some line art there. All right. Showing off the figure and some different poses and things like that on the back. Really well done. All of these are really well done. So, okay. Now for the big boy. I'm actually going to move my camera back. Sorry, I had to up and over it. I can just slide it back. All right. So, Leo Ducks, Bovis, Fortis. Okay. We'll even do the light-up gimmick here. All right, so definitely a big guy. All right, so, bringing him back to the front. We're going to remove the backpack. Okay. So, for his arm mode, really easy just have to get the corresponding hand, which is the left, left fist. We're taking the feet, and we're putting them back up. Okay, I'm just pushing those down while pushing the back foot through, and they go up like so. The fist, making sure this is the right fist, just pegs into one side, make sure I'm doing this right. Okay, there we go. Almost there. You can see the connector area right there. 
just take it, turn it around, turn the fist in the direct, correct direction, and there you go. You want to make sure the head is facing outward. So, okay. Bringing Mr. Rex back up. Just going to take this guy. Oops. You want to make sure that that's in the back too. So, just pegging the fist back in here. Hard to see a lot of black going on with this new background and everything like that. But making sure it's tight. Okay. So, there we go. There we go. And one thing I forgot to say, he does have app crunch, talon. So you want to get the area with the ab crunch face towards and then have the claws right side up so that you got the ab crunch and his hips to give him some further movement in the arm there. So not quite 90 degrees, but good. Okay. Now for the backpack, which really adds to it. It just packs into the back of Leo Ducks. And what's cool is, even when Leo Ducks is a standalone figure, you can actually use um, Talon's wings as a backpack. So make like a griffin mode, things like that. For the lion. There we go. And this has definitely been a long time coming. So it's nice to see this guy just really, if you don't buy the six figure, one step from being complete. So hopefully that's coming soon enough. But here you go. That is Talon combined with the rest of Feral Rex. One figure away from actually having a full Feral Rex. This is awesome. So definitely a big boy. We'll get Optimus Prime in there. Get Orion in there. Sorry for reaching across. Been trying not to do that. But yeah, like I said, go ahead and buy this from thechosenprime.com. Awesome company. Really good customer service. And I believe it's $94.99 there if you didn't get the early bird pricing. But anyway, this has been another Kuma Style review. Make sure to check out the pictorial review on kumastyle.com. You also got a Facebook page now. We're almost at a thousand likes. So find us on Facebook. Like us there. Tons of contests, tons of cool stuff coming up, and a lot of stuff just waiting to be reviewed even. So, yeah, check us out. Thanks for watching, and see you next review.